Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Restaurant manager kicks out customer in Maga hat, realizes big mistake too late. Sarah Huckabee Sanders was recently kicked out of a restaurant in Lexington, Virginia just because she worked for the president. If that sounds stupid, then that's just the start. Congresswoman Maxine Waters has now called for anyone associated with the president to be harassed, and a circle formed around them to let them know they're not welcome. This kind of behavior has led to more Trump supporters being thrown out of restaurants. A man by the name of Darren Hodge decided he was going to take matters into his own hands when Trump supporters walked into a popular restaurant he was the manager at in Vancouver. Darren told the Trump supporter to take off his Make America Great Again cap if he wanted to be served in the restaurant. When the patron declined, Darren refused to serve him. Hodge was later fired. The owner of the restaurant told the press Darren was fired because he didn't follow the company's philosophy of tolerance. Doesn't that sound familiar? Tolerance? Liberals claim to be the most tolerant people. They preach their tolerance to everyone else except themselves. Practice what you preach doesn't sit well with the left. Hodge had worked at the restaurant, the Tea House in Stanley Park, for 18 months. In a statement to Global News, Hodge said he would do it again. I stand by my decision to ask the patron to remove his hat. The MAGA hat has come to symbolize racism, bigotry, Islamophobia, misogyny, white supremacy, homophobia. As a person with a strong moral backbone, I had to take a stand against this guest's choice of headwear while in my former place of work," he said. Following the incident, a Yelp review page for the Tea House in Stanley Park was flooded with comments from Trump supporters who praised the firing and others who cheered on Hodge. Darren thought he was a macho man for refusing to serve a Trump supporter. He even made it clear that he was proud of what he did, and would do it again. Don't be a Darren. Don't lose your job because you can't seem to do your job for an hour and make a decent tip off a Trump supporter. That's just ridiculous. As a person with a strong moral backbone, I had to take a stand against this guest's choice of headwear while in my former place of work. Absolutely no regrets. But the Sequoia Group of Restaurants, which owns the Tea House, said Mr. Hodge's refusal of service amounted to a violation of the company's philosophy of tolerance. Sequoia does not support intolerance of any kind. And it is because of these principles that we cannot discriminate against someone based on their support for the current administration in the United States or any other bona fide political party," a spokesperson said in a statement. The incident comes days after White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was forced to leave a restaurant in Virginia, due to what the owner said was her involvement in an inhumane and unethical Trump administration. Moral backbone? Refusing to serve someone in a restaurant because you believe differently than them when it comes to politics isn't having a moral backbone. Darren, what you're essentially saying is you're the wrong color. Therefore you can't eat here. You're simply bringing back segregation in the name of political disagreement. If you enjoy living that way, then go live it at home, and leave it out of the public life. We got rid of the Nazis once, and we're not afraid to do it again. The Nazi party did everything in their power to undermine and completely alienate their opponents. Once they took power, you know exactly what they did. This is the same path the left is headed down, and they don't even see it. Well, they might see it, and won't admit that they're the ones who are the real bigots. Intolerance has no place in this world. The left is just as guilty of it as anyone else is. This is evidence that the Trump derangement syndrome is in full effect all over North America. The left has become so unhinged that they can't stand seeing the side of a Trump supporter. We hope Mr. Hodge learned his lesson. From the looks of his statement, he probably won't, and will be fired again shortly. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.